Hello again everybody, it's Mark Carrier. Today I'd like to speak to you about customer lifetime value and how important is it in lead generation? You know, over the years I've uh, rarely heard other marketers, let alone anyone in the C-suite, speak much about lifetime value when they're talking about their customers. Generally I find the reason for this is that most businesses, not just SMEs, have poorly designed or non-existing customer databases or CMR, uh, sorry, CRM systems uh, at all. You know, basically they don't know their customer's lifetime value because they don't have the systems in place to help them calculate their value. This simple formula, as you'll see on your screen, CLV, customer lifetime value, equals average profit per purchase times the number of annual purchases, okay, times the years a customer buys from you. Below, as you can see on your screen, is an example that illustrates customer lifetime value. We've got four different customers here. As you can see, the average profit per sale per customer one is 200, and that ranges up to customer four at $300. Annual sales, customer one is one, Customer four is four, so it gives you a bit of a range. Annual profit value is $200, 200 times uh, one sale per, per the time. Uh, up to customer four is $1,200. Years as a customer, you can see that ranges as well from one to two and a half. I mean, two and a half could be longer, it depends on your situation, of course. So our customer lifetime value for customer one is $200. Whereas you look to customer four is $3,000. Now, understanding your customer's lifetime value is an invaluable tool for you to use to determine the profitability of individual customers. This is immensely important to know, so you can drive your marketing strategies to segment your customers into your most profitable groups. Once you've identified these customers and segmented them into groups based on what they've spent with you over time, find out what common demographic, like age, household income, marital status, etc., and psychographic uh, information, be it behavioral, common interests, etc., attributes they share in common. Also look for clusters of customers that use your products and services in a similar way. These then become your target groups, and with a clear understanding of these groups, you can better develop your lead generation programs, understanding what you can afford to acquire new customers for each of these groups. You will also be able to calculate your customer's average lifetime, the probability of their making future purchases, and the frequency of these purchases. And using this knowledge to help you better select lists and build programs to best target your lead generation campaigns. Target your lead generation efforts to those prospects that most closely match your customers with the highest customer lifetime value segments. Once you know what attributes to look for in prospects, you'll be able to select the right lists or build lead generation campaigns that match your customers and know how much you can afford to spend to acquire them. Remember, it usually takes the same amount of time, energy, and money to acquire a low-value customer as it does it to acquire a high-value customer. Now, you only have so much time, energy, and money, so target those resources at prospects that most closely match the demographic and psychographic attributes of your highest-valued customers for the best chance of achieving the highest return on investment, your ROI. Point three, know how much you can spend to keep those high value customers. Now here is a valuable tip that I'll leave you with. The best leads you can have are those customers you've already acquired and nurtured over the years. They know who you are and what value your product is to them already. They don't need to be sold, just shown respect and care. Provided you've been servicing them well and are attentive to what they want and need, they will take your call, open your mail, respond to good offers, and provide you with referrals. Not to mention the inherent value they mean to your business. If you're not too sure about this, just compare the cost of replacing your existing customers with new ones. Just consider all the time, energy, and money 
it takes to replace it. Any of the uh, templates that I've uh, displayed, budget templates and things like that, uh, they're all available on my blog, so I invite you to go there and you can download them from my blog or find a link to them and you can reach that at www.whatsaleadworth.com or uh, simply send me an email if you're on LinkedIn. You'll find me there, Mark Carrier, M-A-R-C-C-A-R-R-I-E-R-E. -R -R -E -R -E. Good luck and have fun. Bye-bye.